everybody, this is Taz Delon for a quick video on something that I haven't liked ever since I bought our 124s. Um, and so I'm going to take care of it. And if it works on Itsy, I will do the same thing on Saxy. And that is our dipsticks. I can't stand the color that Fiat made our dipsticks. It doesn't fit in with anything in the car. We're going to need a towel. What in God's name is this color? And why is it in our engine bay? This is silly. Is it pink? Is it purple? Is it... Magenta. Pinkle? What, what the heck is it? It's Whatever it is, <laughs> it's ugly. And I'm going to change it. It's magenta. Get over that it. That is not magenta. Maybe it is. Whatever it is, I don't like it. <laughs> so I'm going to spray paint it a silverish color. And uh, yeah, so this is what I'm going to do. First thing I have to do is clean it, which I already did. I already washed this down, but I'm going to go do it again because I had it sit in the car overnight. So let's go clean this and get it ready to spray paint. Ah. What are you doing? I'm washing the dipstick. I'll be right out of your way. <laughs> Take a couple minutes. Somebody can in. He doesn't want his sweet pickles. We're getting he? so many cucumbers mm -hmm. in our garden that Jennifer's going to pickle them today and turn them into sweet pickles. For him. We like dill. Oh, God. That would be a hell of a day. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> this thing needs sorry. Viagra. <laughs> I'm just making sure I have it nice and clean for the paint strip. Can I eat it? You can eat the small one. You want me to cut it up? No. Unless you eat them all. You want to use some kind of degreaser to get any oil residue on there. Now the next thing is we want to make sure it's completely dry. So I'll just let it sit here for a couple seconds. Because it's Texas and it's hot. And we're doing this kind of early in the day, not really. It's noon. It's noon. Which is actually not a bad thing because we've been really hot, but we had some thunderstorms late last night. And uh, not late last night, about yesterday evening. Cooled us down about 20 degrees. Usually by now we're 100, and that's too hot for the paint. It doesn't want you to, uh, it doesn't want you to paint in over, in temperatures over 96, so. We're still like 93 right now. I figured I'd come out and do this real quick before it gets too hot. I'm just sealing off the end here in case I overspray a little bit, which I will. I don't want to paint all this stuff. I have it to where I'm not going to paint over my gasket. And this should be good. Just a light breeze, so that shouldn't be a problem. And I'm using Duplicolor engine enamel because it's um, heat rated up to 500 degrees. So that should never be a problem. Shake it. Shake it. Take it more. <laughs> it says for a full minute. Tick tock. Eight to ten to eight to ten inches from surface. In this particular case, it says two light coats. 
followed by one medium coat. You want to apply all three coats with when, within one hour and uh, 10 minutes between coats and then they say it'll be ready to go in just under an hour. Okay. So, wind's blowing that way, we'll do it this way. Okay. Now I have to hold it for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we'll do it again, and then we'll do it one time with the heavier application. And we should be good to go. This is going to look much better than that plum color that it was. If your car was plum color, that'd be cool. But on a black car, that doesn't look right. Okay, here is coat number two. And we wait 10 more minutes. Then we put on our last coat and we're done. Here's our third and final coat. This one's a little bit heavier. We're gonna let this dry for about 30 or 40 minutes. Put it in the car. Should be good to go. And uh, if this stays good over the next couple weeks then i'm going to get a red one i'll get red paint and make saxy's red because saxy has red highlights in the engine and uh there's going to be a couple other things i want to do to change some colors around in my car but that's in the future so i think this is going to turn out pretty good we'll see as soon as it gets done drying and i can take the tape off so here we go, dry to the touch, nice and smooth, just need to unwrap my tape, should be able to install it, install it, I really mean put it back on the car. Notice I didn't paint the bottom part. I didn't want to cover up the seal. But this will, when I put it in, all you'll see is the, the silver. And Abby? Mm -hmm. This yard, by the way, it got this tall in one week. Last, what day did we leave? Monday? Sunday? Mm -hmm. We went down to Corpus Christi. Yeah. The day before, Abby mowed the yard. We got a little rain and I watered the yard once in the front. And this is how tall it grew in one week. It's crazy. Ta-da! That looks a heck of a lot nicer than that ugly color Fiat gave it. So. There you go. So if you're like me and you don't like the color that the dipstick is, very simple to change it to whatever color you want. You can find spray paint like this in literally almost any color that you might desire. Go to any auto parts store, Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever. Pick out the color you want in a, in a spray paint that's rated for a, like a, this one goes up to 500 degrees, so that's why I picked that. And um, it just takes about an hour and you have gotten rid of that ugly color it comes stock have a good day y'all if you like the video thumbs up Ding. hit subscribe and um have a great day